Guess what? More streaming. Um, let me see here. Got to work past the copy protection first. 3780. Wait, no, 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 no. 3825. 3825. Oh, whatever. So we're back for a oh, please, please be there game. New hair. Oh, yeah. Stream 2. Stream 2. Leisure Suit Larry 2. We just got some beautiful hair. At the end of the last stream. I think we're right about halfway through the game. So it timed it perfectly the last last stream, I think. And he's really got short legs. Doesn't he? Um I so I think Look at our inventory. Yeah, so we're a millionaire. Our passport got this onklonk thing, which is some object that Dr. No Nookie's trying to get from us. He's sending all sorts of these KGB agents after us. And we keep trying to bang them, and they they keep killing us. That's fine. Got a bikini top, got a knife, got some matches. I remember we kind of searched through everything in this room. Unless I'm missing something like, like, I don't know, like move painting. The hell you say? I really don't like in this game how it handles. Stuff that the game doesn't understand. Feels like you have to be a, a lot more specific than in the first game, which is weird. Also, a bit more moon logic compared to the first game. So with our long, beautiful hair, I wonder if we're supposed to be putting on bikini. Passing as a lady. Why would you want to wear half a bikini? Are we supposed to get the underwear? This is why would you only want to wear half? And here's uh, this, I think, loops endlessly in, or maybe it doesn't. The first time you go through here, I'm not sure if you can take the shortcut by type and leave. The first time you're just you're popping out all sorts of places. It's like a It's like a whole two, three minute sequence of him farting around. Good day, Mister. Can I help you? We already went to the to the barber. I think that's one of the last big things that we did. That's why we got our beautiful hair. Look around. Um, not like no. Nope. Look at table. What about take mega zine? Oh, that reminds me, Larry won. What the hell was I supposed to do with the magazine? The nudie mag that we got from the Quickie Mart. Because we didn't get all the points. I think we're about 20, 30 points short. Okay. Um... Grab this thing out of the way. Actually, hold on. Let me control M there. I can bind my mouse to the screen. Mm. Make sure everything is up and running too. 
that I'm not muted. Um, okay. So, over here there were some KGB dudes. I'm wondering if, with my hair changed, I'm disguised. And before I go over there, I, I'm pretty sure this is the area I need to be in. God, and then we got our limited saves. <laughs> Beach with hair. All right, let's see if they, they come after us or if we're disguised. I have them. Only in Russia do women wear leisure suits to beach. And we've we've gone over this this scene plays every time. Well, I think that scene plays every time you're caught by a guy. If you're caught by the lady, you're kind of You've fooled yourself into following her on her helicopter, and then you end up getting cut in half by a laser. Uh, an umbrella. They're all like lay under umbrella. They're not important to your escape from this place. So those KGB agents are saying they knew it was us because of our leisure suit. So now I'm thinking even more so that we've got to use that bikini as part of a disguise, which means, oh, see, I think those are bikini bottoms. Makes me think then. So back on the ship is where we got the bikini top. I wonder if if we didn't get the bikini top then, if we're just soft locked, I would think so. Look at rock. There's a discarded bikini bottom. Take bottom. A little small for you, but what the heck. Now I'm guessing Yeah, can't change here. So as far as I can tell Every time you leave here, it just cycles through where you're going to end up at. So that was a restaurant. Next one should be my room. I'm also concerned um, about the maid. The first time we went in here, there was a maid, and she walked out immediately. I think we could interact with her. I just didn't know what to say. Um, boy, do you look sweet. Oh boy, here we go. Got five points. Larry in a bikini. Oh, yeah. Little ass crack exposed. I wonder if... that one. Okay, this next one will be the beach. Wondering, do we have sunscreen? 
I'll check when I'm on the beach because I'm afraid we're going to end up burned. No, we don't have it. I guess we we lost it. What's my oldest save? It's way back there, even before the ship. That's good. Okay, so now we've got our disguise. They shouldn't be catching us. I don't know if I can go... Wait, I have him. How'd you know it was me? Only in Russia do women have such flat chests. Okay. Not good enough. What else do I have? Can I just stuff my bikini top full of money? What do we have here? Do we... Do we have some coconuts? These people got no clothes. I like take rock. The rocks will not help you. Let me look back at the very start of this screen. Better not be something stupid like get some jellyfish out of the water and make some fake tits out of them. The ocean certainly looks peaceful, but what? But after what you've been through in that lifeboat, you have no desire to return to it for some time. Okay, I wonder if there's something here that I can use. Like, like, what if I shake tree the hell you say? Take plant. <laughs> Talk to bird. Hello. No response. Okay, so I have to make some fake tits. It's a hundred dollars. God, do I have to go through this scene again? Strict dress code. Gave him a hundred dollars. He accepted it. Now we gotta go. What can I use for fake titties? Cause I like instantly thinking coconuts or something we can get from the trees. A bowl filled with complimentary soap. Get soap. You grab the bowl full of tiny bars of soap and dump it in your pockets thinking, when I get home, I can carefully wet these and glue them all together to make at least one regular sized bar. What a great deal. You've always been terminally cheap. Mm-hmm. A 
Okay, I have little bars of soap. Look at bed. We'll look out window. Um, open drawer. Take sheets. I don't need it. Can I take a dump? Ah. Didn't even sit down. Yeah, I do like stuff, brah. I'm not like, do I take the little bars of soap and stuff them in there? Those are the worst fake titties. Says at least move. Well, what is it actually going to do that? Okay. Are you sure you want to do this? Do I have fake tits now? Ugh. Okay. Well, we figured it out. Think about that. I'm t it's like those little tiny bars of soap and you're making, making boobies out of them. Okay. Now I'm looking hot, though. Get me out of here. Okay. Back to the beach, and finally, we can make a little bit of progress. Now, we lay down that save, and... And... I, oh no, really? Are they going to talk about my penis now? We caught you. How'd you know it was me? God damn it. I knew it. Only in Russia do women have such body hair. How am I getting rid of this? Oh, knife? Damn it. Wait, hold on. That's ah, too late now. We gotta cycle. As now, I mean, even now I'm thinking. Can't, can't do anything outside of your guest room. Like, like shaving your chest hair. Shave hair. Don't you ever say shave to me again. I understand. Or, or like use knife. Hey. Oh, come on. Remove hair. Um. Did I already say just shave? Shave your hair. I don't burn it off with a match, do I? You light the book of matches and watch it go up in flames. Shave hair. I 
I hope it's not something like I had to like use the soapy soapy water or something for some suds before I, I cut the hair. Look at chest hair. See nothing special. What exactly did they say? Such body hair. So that's the term I'm probably going to be using. But they said it doesn't understand shave. Let me look back at the manual. And see, the manuals come with um, a list of words verbs which might be used in the game we got ask beat bite bribe burn um light i wonder if that works on the lamp in our room um 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 Smell, spray, taste, wink. There is no shave. There's clean. Um, 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 what am I going to use for cut? Because the words that it gives here in the manual aren't all the words that you might be able to use. Burn. It's not going to be burn body hair, is it? Oh, I still have the soap. I have unlimited soap. Use soap on body hair. No need to use it here. Fine. Let's go back to our room. Save. And then we'll see what we can do from there. All right. Yeah, I just want to save. Okay. Use soap on body hair. You're already clean, Larry. It's your mind that's dirty. I wonder if there's a razor in here. Don't you ever say razor to me again. Can't just say shave. Cut hair, the hell you say. Remove hair. Look in mirror. Ugh. Use matches on knife. Ugh. Cut. 
cut hair. Use knife to cut body hair. It thinks the body hair is a person. What? Turn on lamp. Remove bulb. Looks like bulb to me again. Look at hairs. Look at hair. Body hair. Pubes. Cut pubes. What does it want me to say? The reason why we're getting caught is because of our body hair. We have a knife. A knife, some soap. I don't know if it wants us to use it like a razor. We can like suds up with the soap and use the knife, or maybe just use the knife by itself. Or just burn off the body hair with some matches. Burn hair. Burn your body hair. Just burn, burn the whole body. Um, like, look at disguise. I don't get it. The game gives us this hint of what what we need to do. We need to remove the body hair. I think we've got all the tools. It's just getting the words. <laughs> Shit, I'm just going to look up a hint. Because I don't want to be farting around with this. I said it during the last stream plenty. The first game, I didn't need really any hints at all to get through the game. In in this game, I've needed hints almost every step of the way. Okay, Tropical Resort. Um, it's easy for you, Al. I have seen your picture on the back of the box. You have no trouble with excess body hair. You won't either if you just visit your friend the barber again. Oh. I wouldn't have thought to go to the barber to get rid of your body hair. Whatever, though. Is there anything you can do about my excess body hair? But of course, mister. I gotta just what you need. Just to have a seat in the chair, please. For you, the day only, I got a special deal. Somehow I wonder... Nah, this will work a real good. What are you going to do to me this time? Body waxing. Once again, he's got you trapped in the chair. You hope this time will turn out better. Is he going to take my skin off? Oh no. There, all is set. Now just lay there. And let it get a hard. How can I be so stupid, you think? 
I have wax hardening all over my naked body. Look at that face. You can barely see it. This teal block, I think, is his teary eyes. Yeow! What the hell's going on here? Oh, God. Was it good for you? I don't think that could be good for anybody, he, an he answers. Okay, we got three points. Well, perhaps the pain was worth it. I do like this clean-shaven look, you tell him. You're the only one, concludes the barber. Toasty. All right. Now, beach with hair and tits, but no chest hair. In fact, no hair anywhere except my head. Whoa, hello, baby, cries the KGB agent. Ooh, honey, I think I loves you. What happened to his accent? Okay. I don't know if there's going to be two exits, one on the right, one down here. Funny. This entire beach is filled with men. Oh, wow. That's 12 score. You made it across the beach without being caught by the KGB agents. What lies ahead now? Oh, I know what lies ahead now. Death. Oh my gosh. How will a guy as clumsy as you are ever manage to hike a trail as narrow as this? Larry, look out. That was close. You better be more careful. <laughs> Being very lenient, Sierra. I think I'm... Yeah, it's like dipping in. God, I wonder if I should just... Save... Is it is the game really being that nice to me? Or do you just have a limited amount of saves? That that may be it. It may be like three three attempts and you're you're gone. Get in one more save and just in case. It may just be unlimited. Pausing a moment, you catch your breath before crossing the airport parking lot to the terminal building and your escape from that wonderful tropical resort. Hey, Kirst. Welcome on in. Is it going to the next screen? Well rested, you stride boldly across the dirt parking lot to the front door of the main terminal building. What? I lost three score. By the way, you didn't think you were going to keep all those free points, did you? What are you talking about? What free points? Boy, are you happy to have made it past those cliffs? You swear never to return that way. Aero Porto. 
Halt, cries the military policeman, or I'll shoot. All right, you pervert. We got laws against people like you. We don't want no cross-dressers hanging around our airport. Rude. Next time you better dress a little more formally for a visit to the airport, Larry. Alright, we'll just put on clothes before we move at all. I wonder if I can put on clothes. Can't change here, you should have thought of that earlier. Oh, shut up. So you'd be soft locked if you somehow only used one save. Made it there, let's see. I better be able to put on not now, maybe put on suit. Not now, maybe later. There is no later. Beach with hair. Beach with hair and fake tits made out of bars of soap. Okay, so I just have to get past these dudes. Can I... Can I change like immediately after? Can't change here. What about like behind the bush? Can't change here. Made it across. What lies ahead? Uh, now, maybe later. Well, you talking about I wonder if I can put on suit oh, you have to do it right here which is weird and slip back into your leisure suit toss the bikini and soap far over the cliff too bad so you were beginning to enjoy wearing women's clothing at least you still have your beautiful long blonde hair. Well rested, you stride boldly across the dirt parking lot to the front door of the main terminal building. <gasps> Save. <laughs> These guys are new. Think I, those military dudes are gonna Get me. At last, you've reached the resort airport. What a disappointment. There's two security guards patrolling here. Near the door, there's two men wearing robes. I wonder if I can, like, bribe, bribe the man. Here, take some money. Doesn't work. Alright, let's just see what happens. Talk to man. Yeah. There's several men here. Two airport security guards and two other. <laughs> Talk to other man. What are they? What do you call them, like monks? Talk to monk. Don't you ever say monk to me again? Hmm. Chance the strangely dressed KGB agent. We got a cult for you. If only you could offer them some token of peace and beauty. Once again, you've allowed the KGB agents to recognize and capture you. Now we'll run by their place to see some of the fun things you'll get to enjoy. <laughs> um, Onklunk. That's not going to work. Look at man by door. Don't you ever say bye to me again. Talk 
the guard. So can you tell me how to buy an airline ticket? Does that line never end? Believing this to be an audition for duty at Buckingham Palace, he stares back at you with no response. What about one more time? Well, this guy's smiling, I think. Let's see, is there anywhere over here? No. Um, is that like cult member? Oh, what the hell are they called? Robed. Because if I get close, they, they just recognize me. I need to... Dance with man. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. I don't even know what to call them. I think compared to the first game, this, this game does a pretty shitty job at hinting like what what do I even call these dudes call them KGP agents we're not supposed to even know see nothing special how are you Christians who would even know how the hell to spell that oh should ever say hair to me again. Look at me in my door. Don't don't ever say bye to me again. Like this game makes no sense when it comes to some of these inputs. The manual says try using full sentences. Well that shit doesn't work. I've tried looking at robed men. I've tried just like Look at men. There's two airport security guards and two other. Talk to guards works. Talk to other doesn't work. Talk to other men doesn't work. It's my inventory. Got a bunch of money, a passport, onklunk, which is a special item. I wonder if I'm supposed to give them that. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Alright. Too close. You're not close enough. Alright, let's... Wait, can I... They're not interested in that? But you said I wasn't close enough. <laughs> Give money. They're not interested in your money. Be more creative. Offer matches. Give matches. Give knife. Give penis. Don't you ever say penis to me again? Give kiss. Give a hug. <gasps> hug man. Wouldn't you rather just remain friends? What? Give hug to man. It's, it's not yours to give. <laughs> Dance with man? The hell you say?
This way. So it seems like the game wants me to yeah offer yeah offer token of love and peace. I don't. Look at the onklunk. If only you knew that this onklunk contained important international secrets. Oops. Wait, hold on. Water dough. This knife still smells of brie. Get my wig? It's not a wig. <laughs> it's my hair. To whom? They, they said... Wife. You don't have it. Oh, did he give... It was a double? You don't have it? The hell you say? I'm just taking the hint. Yeah, this, this game is just very weird. I can't seem to get past those robed flower children at the Arrow Porto. Have you ever actually been approached in an airport? Do you know what those people sometimes offer you? If you offered one to them, you might throw them off balance. Where were you in the 60s? These are flower children KGB kids. Turn the tables on them and offer them a flower, which I don't have. That's great. I'm soft locked. So. Da -da. Room two. Um, beach with hair. Let's see, take flower. Not close enough. Not close enough. Not close enough. So this is all kind of like a cutscene. <laughs> Says I'm not close enough. He will kind of pop around all over the place. Whatever. You reach over and break off the beautiful flower at its base. Okay. Yeah, see, I, I never would have figured that out. I tried taking this, this uh, plant here. I may still have body hair. Yeah, I have big old boobies, but I'm not sure because they don't look any visually different with or without the body hair. We'll see. Okay. So it looks like I've that's all taken care of. So back to the beach. Ugh. I was soft locked. I was soft locked at the airport. I had to go back to this jungle area, get a flower. And I had tried getting, there was a potted plant in that area, but I didn't think to, you have to wait around because you can't walk. Larry just automatically pops around all over the screen and eventually you'll have the opportunity to Get a flower. Let's 
So. Yeah, the game really, really went in hard on the, the hint book sales. But whatever, works for them. I, I still don't know if I can actually ever die from the cliff. So it's always the same animation. Alright, stop it, Larry. Am I getting like one point for every time I go around these little loops or what? I have to put on my suit right when we go around the corner here. Um, yeah. Oh wait, am I? Am I actually getting a point for every time I do that? <laughs> I am. Um, and then they take them all away. You have to put on the suit here because you can't put it on anywhere else. And they take away your points. Okay. Now. Now we can actually move forward. Here, my little flower child. You tell the KG bish, the KG bish now. Make love, not money. This so confuses the KG bish now agents that they stumble off. Ah, oh, Christ! That was auto text. Nice going, Larry. You succeeded in bypassing KG beers again. All right. Oh, it's California raisins. Oh, wait, hold on. I can already tell this is going to be some, some bullshit. While I'm over here checking out the raisins, I'm probably soft locking myself. The delicate interplay of colored light is fascinating. Of here... Oh, did you mean that raisin poster? It means no, no use. Where'd that guy go? Let me just look around first. There's three ticket agents. Well, lines of customers queued before them. Perhaps you should stand in line. I don't think so. Um, or, is it just one line that moves ahead? Or is it always the line that I'm not in? Let's see, because my line should be next. If it's the second one going next, then... Okay, just one more. We'll check the third one. Yeah, I think it's always the line that I'm not in. What's over here, though? Oh, there is something here. Oh, we gotta get our hair cut again. This end of the airport contains some chairs, a window looking out on the runway, and the entrance to the airport barbershop. 
Don't all barbershops look the same? Is that Rosella? Oh, I got... What did I get? Three points? You find Daventry women sexy. But then you find any woman sexy. By the way, have you played King, King's Quest 4 yet? I have not. We're going to be doing King's Quest 1 through 4 next year. Why no, I haven't. Is it good? Well, I certainly think so, she concludes. Maybe it's just me. Ask. The hell you say? Yeah, the game just doesn't understand what the hell is being asked most of the time. Ask name. Look at Barbara. Can't interact. His name. Whatever. Cut my hair. Could I just get a slight trim? My hair is ridiculously long. Oh, oh. I'll be happy to just plop in my chair there, Goldilocks. I'll take care of those curly locks for you. Gosh, please be careful. You tell her. I'd hate to lose my full head of hair, just a little off the back. I wonder if I, if I can just skip this and go the rest of the game with my Fabio hair. What's she putting on my hair? All done. I think it was like some sort of magic powder or something. All done. What do you think? My hair, it's gone. It serves you right. You should never trust a barber with a longer, prettier, blonder hair than yours. She's a witch. She doesn't even have a nose or a mouth. Well, at least I look my, like my passport picture now. Oh, so it, it was required that we do this. Sorry you're not satisfied. Here, take a bottle of this month's, this month's special. When you have time, rub a teaspoon on your hair every day for a month. Soon your hair will be full and rich. But be careful. It's highly inflammatory. Don't see. Oh, who's hiding here? KGB agents? Um. Old hair. Hello, sweetie, says the beautiful woman with the magazine. Want to look through my layouts? Yes, I do. Clearly a KGB agent. But it's fine. What an opportunity. You've never met a woman from the magazine industry before. Look at woman. She's beautiful. Talk to woman. Hey, baby. How's about if I sit here beside you and you let me see that photo spread? Okay, but not here. Yeah. Rather do it at my place. Follow me. Okay. Mm-hmm. Two of you head f for the tarmac, where she introduces herself as an interior decorator and professional hairstyling consultant. You enter her corporate helicopter, which bears a large logo consisting of just a circle and a slash. Now oh, that, she explains, that means no plain areas. A short, romantic, low-altitude chopper ride across the South Pacific is followed by... Now, we haven't seen this since the last stream, so we'll let it play out. You're so impressed. You never had a girl invite you to her pad before, not to mention her landing pad. I wonder if we always get cut in half. You just wait over there on the bed while I slip something, she says with a smile. Perhaps if things go well tonight, I could give her a, subs a subscription to Popular Mechanics. You know, with his penis. Hey, baby. What a great kinky bed. Mm-hmm. 
What's going on here? Get these ankle cuffs off me. Oh, I'm just into mechanical devices. She replies with a smile. Hold still, darling. This will only take a second. Mm-hmm. Why does that look like hydrofluoric acid below me? You shout in terror. Because it is silly. That sad, sad face, just as the laser touches the scrotum. Well, Larry, this brings a whole new meaning to the term dismemberment. Goodbye. Won't be fooled again. Well, we need tickets. I wonder if I can... If I can... I can bribe a man. Here, take some money. Doesn't work. Or if I'm just supposed to... Like, cut in line? It doesn't seem as if the lines move at all if I'm in them. I bet if I move out of this line, something will happen. Let's see? I just cut in line. Um, talk to agent? Hey, you shouts a man waiting in line. Who do you think you are? Stand in line like everyone else. Can I knife him? Bribe agent. Takes money. Bribing usually doesn't work. I'm just going to try going over here first and we'll see what's up. Maybe I don't need a ticket. Maybe I'm just supposed to hop on these here. Conveyor belts. Good day, senor. My name's Larry. Larry Laffer. Good day, sir. May I please see your passport? You may. Wait. I can go over here. Okay, we've got five points for that. What's he saying now? This picture is an excellent likeness, says the customs agent. So yeah, we would have failed if we didn't get our hair fixed. It must be printed on photographic paper by Code Orc. Now I must inspect your possessions. Oh, not the knife. Is he gonna... Is he gonna be pissed? Are you pissed? Well, okay, I guess. Although this is highly unusual in an adventure game. Is that hundreds of hundred dollar bills in your pocket? Oh, it's just going to go through the description. So this is nothing any different than if you look at your own stuff in your inventory. Warning, highly toxic. Inflammable. Bottle harmful if taken internally. Like taking the whole bottle internally. I'm sure I've got to shove, the, shove that up my ass or something later in the game. You satisfied? Yes, but I must warn you about carrying that knife on board any aircraft. Okay. You have my word on it. That works. That works in airports now. All right. You may pass. I wonder if they just ask for your ticket at the... the plane. Hey, thanks a lot, buddy. You say, peeling a hundred off your water bills. Here's a little something for you and the missus. What? Oh, damn it. What does it say? 
Ah, I skipped past it on accident. What is that poster? I want to look at it. It's clearly something nasty. Look at poster. Those damn dancing raisins are everywhere. That guy hair rejuvenator. I need it for me. I'm pretty sure I gotta shove it up my ass. It's over here. Am I supposed to... Oh, I bet I take this guy's ticket. Mm-hmm. Stealing tickets. The security guard snoozes beside his x-ray machine. Oh, I thought it was a passenger. Allowing baggage to pass by uninspected. Oh, so maybe I am just supposed to take the... the route of hopping on the belt and going through. <laughs> Loot man. Talk to man. Wait, hold on. Or maybe I'm... Like, supposed to... Take bag? You nimbly grab someone's suitcase from... The moving belt, force it open and discover inside some dirty underwear. Okay. So I think this is what I'm supposed to do is just hang out here. What is that, a cat? <laughs> a dead cat. Flail? What is that? A pair of maces? You decide they're of no use to you. A rifle? <gasps> I did not miss. What the hell is this? Nothing of interest. I wonder if I can just keep doing this. This may just be completely unrelated to, to beating the game. Take bad. A computer. Searching through the disk storage box within, you discover a complete set of Sierra Adventure games. You decide they're of no use to you. Because you're having plenty of trouble with this game. Good one, Allo. What is that message? John 316? Oh, what is this? Nothing of interest. What? Didn't even say on that one. Take a jacket. Some blue pinstripe suits. I imagine at some point it's going to, to loop. It's like a gun and a bunch of other stuff. A fully automatic machine gun and some clips of ammo. You realize... You have no use for this until you purchase Police Quest 2, The Vengeance, which is probably, I think, the best of the Police Quest games. Definitely the best intro music of the Police Quest games. I got a bomb. First thing we do is save. I got points for that. Am I supposed to... 
Am I, am I blowing up planes now? Say, I think I'll get this thing outside. Oh! So this is one of those Sierra things where if I didn't do this, the plane would have blown up, huh? Oh, is he doing it on, on his own? Good. Sure is. Look out, I got a bomb. That'll go over well. Of course, the agent casually replies. Toasty. Look out, I got a bomb. Get out of here quick. That was certainly subtle, right? Larry, you wouldn't want to create a panic. Oh! So, they're not moving. It seems you're, you're the only one panicked around. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Ignoring their apathy, you Val. I'll rush this outside and throw it safely over those cliffs. Protecting these innocent bystanders from harm while making myself a hero in the process. Fame and recognition will surely follow. I'll be invited to the White House, where I'll be acclaimed a national treasure. Shortly thereafter, I'll write a titillating, best-selling autobiography, in which I reveal everything, guaranteeing appearances on Donahue and Carson, in a seven-figure movie deal, signed over a power lunch at Spago's, in spite of the protestations of my agents and attorneys, which will go on to make me even richer and more famous, before retiring to a quiet, unassuming life as a gentleman farmer in the foothills of eastern Moderna County. Or then again, maybe not. Hurry, Larry. Sounds like it's about to go off. I'm okay, right? Oh, Jesus. Larry, you killed those people. That's certainly one way to clear out a crowd, but now look at your suit. <laughs> oh, well at least no one was hurt. But why did they all run away from a little firecracker like that? Well, that's one way to get the... <laughs> the line cleared out. May I please purchase a ticket on the next available flight, you tell the agent. Your destination, sir? Anywhere but here. You're in luck. We have exactly one seat available in the next two weeks, and it's on the next departing flight. I'll take it. Say, if you have no seats available, why were all those men in line? They were waiting for the keys to the restroom. <laughs> you presume that explains your sudden departure following the loud noise. Would you prefer smoking or non-smoking? Mom. Aisle or window? Aisle. I thought they said only one seat left. Any carry-on baggage? Mom. Luggage to check through? Nope. Will you require a bassinet? Nope. Traveling with children or elderly? No. Bringing a pet? Nope. Do you have a passport or visa? Passport. Care for baggage insurance? Nope. First class, business class, or coach. You said there was only one seat. <laughs> will you be pay will you be staying fourteen to twenty one days? Forever. Are you a member of any frequent flyer programs? No. Will you be bringing a laptop computer on board? No. A nineteen eighty eight laptop. Ew. Would you like a pillow? Yes. A blanket? No. A movie? No. Stereo headphones? I suppose. Drinking or non-drinking? Drinking. Cash or credit card? Cash. Telephone privileges and flight? No. Kosher or Mexican? Armenian? Three and a half inch or five and a quarter inch? Eight bit or sixteen bit? Stewardess fondling or non-fondling? <laughs> fondling. Please. Just give me the damn ticket.
Boy, are you Americanos touchy, he snarls. Okay, here's your ticket. One adult, ultra-saver, non-smoking, window deluxe, business class, express apex excursion, gold label, y fare, non-refundable maxi fare ticket for Kalba, with pillow, blanket, movie, and stereo headphones. I did want the, the stewardess fawn line, but... Your flight's scheduled to depart from gate one in exactly one minute. Too bad you spent so much time here. You might have... You might have made it, concludes the agent. Toasty. I got five... I got five points. Oh, do I have to show again? You again? Did you get rid of that knife? Of course, would I lie to you? I've seen enough of your stuff. Go through, but please remember. Toasty. I hope there's nothing else in here. It looks like it stopped. Oh, what's going on here? Talk to lady. Lovely, lovely weather, eh? You asked the waitress. Look at lady. Now you'd rather not. Trust me on this one. Wow. It says I got one minute, but... A waitress cruises behind the snack bar while a pair of moving sidewalks disappear into the distance. There's some vending machines along the east wall. Near the snack bar is a sign. Get snack. Get vending machine. The one to your right is labeled broken. The machine to the left is labeled flight insurance, $100. A little large for an insurance machine. Get insurance. You peel off another $100 bill from your wad of money and insert it into the slot. The machine slurps it up, digests it, considers it its authenticity, finds it's valid. Then begins to whir and shake. What the hell is that? What kind of airline is this anyway? Well, you suppose a parachute... Of course, Sierra. You suppose a parachute would be pretty good insurance, so you pick it up off the floor and hide it in your inner suit coat pocket. I wonder if we'll always need that. Or if it's only needed if we didn't get the bomb. Oh yeah, look at that big animation there. Those are the most fun things at airports. Walking at the speed of sound. Certainly is a long terminal. And they're so comfy too, they got like padding in them. Your mind wanders. <laughs> That's me. Oh, am I supposed to click it? I can't type anything. Previously, you believed that was just a figure of speech. It's still here. It's right there. Finally, you reach the end of the moving sidewalk and enter the waiting room for gate number one. Okay. I, I just gotta keep doing, doing these saves. I don't trust Sierra one bit. There's an airline attendant waiting behind the counter, and a locked door that you presume leads to the jetway and your escape. Um, I like talk to man. Hello, no response.
Talk to a lady. Or like, look at family. Don't you ever say family to me again. The woman looks like she almost screwed herself out of a seat. Give a ticket. Here's my ticket. You say, handing your ticket folder to the gate attendant. This is gate number one. Certainly is. Three points. But if you want to take the flight listed on this ticket, you'd better hurry. I've already announced the final boarding call. The stewardess on board will give you a seat. Will give you your seat assignment. Toasty. Okay, so no bomb on the plane, and I've got a parachute. Let's look again. I wonder if they're gonna give me shit because I never got rid of that knife. Was I supposed to get rid of it? We'll see. I may have to stab some people. Welcome aboard, sir, says the stewardess with her best plastic smile. May I see your ticket, please? You give it to her. The Mile High Club non-member your seat is on your left in the second compartment Mr. Uh, Laffer she says keeping your ticket say haven't I seen you on TV weren't you the big winner of the Lucky Life Lottery yep that's me baby you grin hand her a hundred dollar bill here's a little something for you It appears that what I've heard is true, she says. About me, gorgeous? You respond. No, about the nouveau rich. They are incredibly crude. She gives you her best pony smile. Toasty. Why, this plane isn't so small, you think? Look at all the room in here. Well, things are a little more packed. Stab stewardess, we didn't have a choice. It's all, all automatic. No way, you think to yourself. I can't possibly fit into such a skinny space. Here goes. <laughs> Woo. We made it. Good afternoon, ladies, uh, gentlemen, says the cute stewardess. I'd like to welcome you, you aboard Flight One. In the unlikely event of a water landing, there's no need to panic, because we'll all be dead anyway. <laughs> now don't get upset, that's just a little airline humor. Oh, and if during our flight those cute little yellow masks happen to drop down from their overhead compartments? Why well, just ignore them? Lately, those practical jokers in maintenance have been substituting nitrous oxide for the oxygen again. Well, I think we're just gonna use the parachute, probably. And remember, in case of an emergency, we women get to leave first. Are there any questions? Nope. Um, let's see here. See if I can actually do anything. A voice crackle, crackles through the loudspeakers. Please fasten your seatbelt and move your seat back and tray table to their fully upright and locked positions. We have just been cleared for takeoff. Can't do anything yet. Here we go. Captain's voice returns. We have reached our, that was fast, reached our cruising altitude of 500 feet. Passengers in our rear smoking compartment may smoke them if you got them. Can't move yet. We hope you enjoy your flight. Our ETA is approximately 10 minutes. Your lovely stewardesses will be serving drinks shortly. 
But that's just because we couldn't hire any taller steward stewardesses. <laughs> the man sitting next to you responds to the captain's lame quip with a hearty har har har. Oh. Well, I can do things now. Hey, says the man beside you. I remember you. You're the guy from Lefty's Bar. Haven't seen you in a long time. Let me tell, this, tell you this new joke I heard. No way, you respond. No jokes. All you ever told me was punchlines. Oh, it's that guy. It's that guy who we sat through during Larry 1. Um. Is he jacking off? What is he doing? Um. Talk to man. You'd rather not. Besides, the only person he wants to hear is himself. Do I get to get up? Drinks? Drinks, anyone? Wait. Oh, ah. Ooh. Ah. I don't think so. Drinks? Drinks, anyone? Mm-mm. <laughs> now we can try. Yeah, just plain old. Use knife. Is it push cart? There's no way you can affect them. They're just stuck in this hell forever. Ooh, we almost got there. Get drinks. I'm sorry, sir. You must return to your seat before I can serve you. I wonder if I do have to just sit down first. All right. Now oh, this guy, this guy again. So I don't believe we've ever met. My name is Ken. What's yours? Larry. Larry Laffer. Well, Larry, what kind of work are you in? I'm not. I'm recently incredibly rich. Oh. Well, that's one way to stifle him, Larry. Well, now they go away. Do they only come when I stand up? I think so. Yeah. And then you sit, and then this asshole talks to you again. Say, Larry, I'm expecting to be wealthy soon myself, he continues. Yep, just bought into a big national franchise. Pretty soon I'll be rolling in it. Define it, you think to yourself. Stab man. Um... All this stuff, I can... What does this look like? Unusual form of flight insurance. You know, with this hair rejuvenator and the matches, I can burn something. I wonder what I'm supposed to get, do to get past these assholes. Just, I'm so close. I'm so close. You can't go around the sides. I don't think I can go to any of the... I don't even know which way I'm supposed to go. Like, I can't stand off to the side here. <laughs> Light match. That's acceptable. Oh, that happens just because of the 
hair rejuvenator. That's fine. Well, they wouldn't let me buy it. Oh, well, thanks, Al. Okay, so this guy's jacking off. He's doing something weird. No matches. No matches. Knife, water dough. Give money to man. Take some money. Doesn't work. Get up. Move. Stewardess. And we can't push the cart. There's no way you can affect them. Can I take the cart? It's of no use. Take some money. Doesn't work. Sit, not close enough. I wonder if there's anywhere else I can sit. Can I sit on this man's lap? Ugh. I keep thinking like that these little areas here should be able to stand off to the side, but I, I'm not able to. Climb over cart. Like, like this is as far as we can go. That would be unbecoming a man of leisure. Just look around. There's not even a magazine to read in the seat back pocket in front of you. Oh. Airsick bag. Let's get that. bag. You slowly slip your hand inside the slightly sticky seat back pocket and slide out the semi-soiled airsick bag. If you didn't need it before, you need it now. Now five points for a barf bag. Once again, the boar attempts to strike up a conversation. Say, I don't know. Oh, wait. Same as before. Can we look at this? This airsick bag may come in handy if you ever get sick of this game. <laughs> Alright. Use bag. Okay. You do so and immediately discard the now soiled airsick bag <laughs> and lose two points. Okay. Do I. What would I put inside the bag? Oh, put the knife. Put the knife in the bag. Put matches. Um, what would I put in the bag? And they... <laughs> it's gone now. Let's light the match now. <laughs> Just keep losing all these points. Yeah. Just a game boy of telling you you screwed up. Um, um, um. May let, let me pass. Yeah. Yeah, let's see. Because I don't think I can just use bag. Show bag. Oh. Ah. No reason to do that. Give bag. Okay. Re 
reach inside bag. Um, um, um. <laughs> Put bag in cart. Throw bag at lady. Barfin bag. Okay. <laughs> I actually do use it, apparently. Oh, hold on one second. Okay, so nothing else. What if I just give the bag to the guy? If you need a stewardess, they're never around. Is there a button? Is there a call button? The hell you say? What about those overhead compartments? Don't you ever say compartment to me again. Put drinks in bed. Not yours to drop. It's in my inventory. It's a bunch of crap. Bunch of crap. I got money, passport, on clunk. Knife, matches, hair rejuvenator. Parachute and an air sick bag. Semi used bag. Soft locked. That's great. Let me just get the whip out the hints. On the plane. I'm trying to survive keep getting killed. Getting killed by that boar sitting beside me. That guy can kill me? Uh, you can't get past the carts, but you can distract the boar. What do people in planes... What do people do in planes to kill time? No, not stewardess fondling. Oh, we we have to try that. No, not bore your neighbor. Ken's already doing that. Give him something distracting. Something that'll hold his attention while you slip away. Something to read. Where can I find a... Can a person find something interesting to read? Did you try the waiting room? You were in such a hurry to board the airplane you forgot to be a good adventurer. Of course I did. That's fine. Where is it? Is it here? Computer terminal. Get pamphlet. Yeah. All right. Free reading material to help you while away your flight time for a whole 10 minutes. You grab a brochure from the display and shove it in your pocket, promising to read it when you get to your seat. Seems the perfect choice for a long, boring flight. It ain't long. Um, okay. There's my ticket. One more time. I mean, they told us we had one minute. We had one minute to get on the flight, so I was wondering if there was actually a timer running. This guy here looks squished. All right, now we got some big points. So I guess we were at two, two ninety seven. Before, and that was with the air sick bag. 
take a little longer till we're up in the air. There we go. We're good. I didn't know the guy next to me could kill me. All right. Get bag. Yeah, we got, that's a whole 11 more points. Um, look at pamphlet, repent and send money. That to Ken. Oh God, how many points was that? Was that eight? Eight more points. Sin and grin. Instantly intrigued by the fascinating treaties, Ken finally leaves you alone. The question is, have those stewardesses finally, have those stewardesses finished serving drinks? Um, I'm just going to do another plane two. Can't trust Sierra. Are they going to get, get in here with the carts? No. Let's go back here first. Are they smoking? Smell of sa stale cigarette smoke makes you fon fondly recall your days as a lounge lizard. Available at your local software dealer it is Leisure Suit Larry in the land of the lounge lizards. Pick up a couple of copies today. Um... Look at button. Hmm. Wonder if that's just a light. Hmm. Not close enough. Come on, get me in there. Some gal has been in that one for hours. Oh, are they both bathrooms? The red light indicates it's currently occupado. I've been in here for hours, huh? Ah. <sighs> Talk to man. Hello, you say to the man in the smoking area. My name's Larry. Larry Laffer. Um, can I unlock door? No. I might come back here. It's probably something I have to do to get those open, but we got first class seating up here. Wait, hold on. I bet I take one of these bags, don't I? First class is certainly more comfortable than cattle class. The door to the cockpit is at the front of the airplane. Is this anybody's bag? Good bag. No, not that bag. Take bag. Might take case. Open curtain. No. Casually pop into the cockpit. Now 
that ain't happening anymore. Caramba, somebody screams. It's one of those wacko foreign terrorists. No, it's me, Larry Laffer. Grab the fire axe. Got a male Capitan. Am I dead? What a waste, Larry, to come so far and then try to hijack an airliner. What if... Uh, what do I got here? Um, what a dough, passport, onk -lonk. Knife, matches, a rejuvenator. Because I don't want to just use the sick bag. If I just use the sick bag, it's gone. I can't open any of these doors. Knock on door. Knock, knock. Who's there? Larry. Larry Laffer. What about this door? Use knife on door. Because you're not close enough. What door is that going to work on? Does it work on anything? I wonder if... If I'm supposed to clear the... the smoke here so I can see... Clear smoke. Look at smoke. Blow smoke. Um, put smoke in the bag. Look at light. I guess it's supposed to be lit. You put on the parachute. I don't know why you would. Unless the plane's currently going down. I think I've... I think I've got to do something in the back area with the smoke. I can try to... Maybe I have to do something in here. This guy looks like he's flattened. Look at man. Already did that. They won't let us open the curtain. Can I just open the door and, and die? The door was locked from the outside before takeoff. No way you're going to open it. Look behind the curtain. Let me do it and let it be Al low behind it. Oh, there's nothing. And we can't get in the cockpit. That's a game over. Yeah, so it's probably something back here. It might be something behind the smoke, but can't really see. So like turn off light. Turn off the the occupied light. <laughs> like, not lick door, kick door. Uh, 
Oh, let me look at the manual at the, the available words. Um, let's see here. Oh, wait, what the hell is it saying? The airplane's PA system crackles to life. Ladies and gentlemen, we're approaching our destination. Please return to your seat, fasten your seatbelt, and return your tray table to its upright and fully locked position. Thank you. Doesn't seem right. There's got to be something that I have to do in here before it lands. But whatever. Well, we got the saves. We can we can check it out in a little bit. I want to see what it's like the first time through. If I actually do just have to wait. Ladies and gentlemen, we're starting our final descent at this time. Okay, we landed. It was even faster than the takeoff. On behalf of the entire crew, flight number one, we'd like to welcome you to Kawa, where the local time is up. Please remain in your seats. We have some members of the local police force coming aboard to check for contraband which is my knife. Oh, I was... That's KGB dudes. Something makes you believe these two are no local police. There must be some way you could escape from this airplane before it lands. Yeah. Need the parachute beforehand. No, you gotta do something to trigger this thing to... <laughs> to have an emergency. So that we have a chance to get outside and use the parachute. There's something in between there. If I light the match... The hair rejuvenator explodes. <laughs> like it so. Reduces our score. Let me see what it's like the light, light match. Yeah. So not that. I mean, we could try putting on the parachute. Maybe that actually triggers something to move forward. The other passengers stare at you with suspicious expressions. So you slide the parachute under your coat. I mean, maybe. Maybe it's a different thing now. But, we can't open that door. Can't be like... Hide knife. Put knife in bag. Probably the PA system is going to speak up soon. don't think I can... do anything else up here. You know, I've tried this before, but... can't do it, at least not now. You pick the door's lock with a knife. I don't know, we can try. Looking at the door. There's two doors, one leading to the outside. One outside door. 
Um, um, um. Are we supposed to turn Larry into a murderer? Have him kill the pilots? That would be an emergency. Let's see. Because it says something. Use knife on door. Not close enough. Which is so weird. Because it makes it seem like you can use it somewhere. Maybe there's another, there's a third door. Kind of weird. The door on the right. I don't, I don't think the knife is supposed to be used like this or if it is you got to be really specific with where you're at. Use knife on lock. Not close enough. Ah. Ah, Jesus. See, I don't, I don't know if it's actually trying to to use the knife. Or if it's just the worst kind of generic text. Makes it seem like the game's actually doing something. Oh, what do we got? Let me put on the put on the parachute. Oh, it's it's on. It's just in the inventory. Um, use knife on bag. I think if I do that, it's going to put the knife in the bag. Return to your seat. I wonder if I just hang out here. If if these people are going to come out. Knife is not solution. Not soft locked. That's good. It's occupado. Some gal's been in that one for hours. What happens if I just stay standing up? Probably gonna die. I'm, I keep thinking it's airplane comes to an abrupt landing without you in your seat. You suffer major injuries, too numerous to mention here. Next time, listen to your pilot. Oh, I just disappeared from existence. Ah, whatever, I'm taking the hint. Taking the hint. Let's see. I'm trying to... The hints are weird. Because it's not going over this... Specific thing. There's three doors... At the rear of the aircraft. The two you can see are restrooms. Another is not. The emergency escape exit is near the wall... At the rear of the aircraft. You can't see it unless you're close enough. Alright. Oh, this asshole! Oh, oh. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever seen one of those doors open. There's a large red handle preventing that. Use handle. A heavy pad locked padlock prevents you from doing that. You try your best to jimmy the lock with the dull cheese knife, but for not. What else I got? Look at padlock. Nothing special. Open door. OK. 
Okay, now that door just keeps opening. Look at handle. Oh, you son of a bitch. Do I get in there? It's like constantly being used now. Oh. Let me see here. Let me just wait. I wonder if this I wonder if it's a proximity thing. If this guy's actually gonna come out with me standing here. Or if I have to be far enough away to where I couldn't get back in. If I wanted. I think it was me trying to open that door that triggered the the rooms being used. Or maybe it is just me being over here. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how it is, huh? You just never make it over there. Probably don't need to anyway. Okay, so what do we got? <laughs> no using the matches. Use hair rejuvenator. Okay, you carefully pour your bottle of highly flammable hair rejuvenator on the emergency exit's padlock. Makes the lock look, look really new. <laughs> and reduces your score by five. <laughs> There's another. That's fine. Oh, what about the puke bag? Whenever I say use the bag on something, I I guess I just barf in the bag. Okay. The handle, a padlock. Heavy locks, padlock. Padlock. <laughs> Unlock. Padlock. There's no key in this game. What if I just keep using the knife? No. Okay. Another item. All right, let's see. Let's see what's up here. It said I, I wouldn't be able to look behind the curtain at this time. There's got to be something in here. I can't actually go down here. Talk to a lady. Is there anyone here who, who would like to trade seats? No. Take case. No use. Don't need it. This guy looks like he's asleep. Yeah, says the same thing. Looking bag. I don't even know if he's looking in these. Or if he's looking in the barf bag. Pull back curtain. The hell you say?
I bet he's gonna say the same thing the hell you say. Oh. What about just hide? Can I hide a knife here? No, better not. Better not. <laughs> well, uh, we know how to get the this one bathroom door open just by going down here. And that's, then that guy pops in immediately. Um, I'll well, look on the floor. I think you detect three doors at the rear of the plane. Not really looking at the floor, is it? Open bag. Maybe there's a bag on the floor I can't see. No. I take their cigarette. Okay. I think the bathroom's just for show. The hell would I use to to get that padlock off? Well, I'm almost dead anyway. Look around. Whatever. Hint time. I can make the emergency exit shiny clean, but I blow everything up. What? Did you taste the blue pate special at the airport snack bar? What? Weird. If there's a key, I don't know where it is. You will just have to pick your own way out of this problem. Did you notice what did not agree with you in the Blue Pate special? I don't know about this Blue Pate. Is that something... Blue Pate special. Do I just sit there? The airport snack bar. Where's the key? Blue pant. What the hell is it talking about? Let's see here. How come I can't eat the blue plate special? By the way, that's a blue pate special. Take the bobby pin from the gravy. Is this... Soft locked. 
Uh, I probably have to go back even further. Can I? Or does the plane take off if I go back here? Because I think it's talking about this. Found the snack bar. Buy snack. Ask about snacks. There's the special. Look at sign. The blue pate special. Buy special. Hey, baby. Give me one of them blue plate specials. It's blue pate. Do you bother? Or is it pate? I think it's bald related. Yo, she yells back in the kitchen. Slot me up another bald one. Yeah, I was soft locked back there. Here you go, big boy. One big blue coming at you. Look at special. Looks like it might be edible. Oh, wait, do I? Take. No, not four. Nah, the plate's stuck to the counter. The hint says pick through. Pick through food. Look at food. Or do I just eat it? Eat food. You quickly wolf down the blue plate paint special as if you had not eaten for an entire adventure game. Say, you tell the waitress, this is pretty good stuff. Why, this tastes just like the meatloaf mama laugh or blah, blah, blah. You drop to the floor while making clever creative sounds with your trachea. Now, you now remember what it was you hated about mama laughter's cooking. She had a habit of losing her bobby pins in the gravy, you think while you frantically make the universal sign for choking. What a shame the waitress never heard of Dr. Heimlich. Yeah. Sierra and their airplanes. Just a big, stinky, hint-dependent mess. Soft locks all over the place. Um, do I have to look at the sign? Buy special. Now, I think I have to look at the gravy. That's what the hint book said. Nah, I don't think you can get the food on the plane. Nah, I've always got these... Always got the hint books ready if I need them. Because these games, sometimes they're very specific. And this section of the game is the worst so far. Look at the gravy. Did I just say get pin? Get pink. Get pin. This time you decide to save yourself from a fate worse than... Well, okay. Actually quite similar to... No, no indeed. I suppose it would be identical to death by fishing the bobby pin out of the blue pate specials gravy-like substance instead of swallowing it. Stupid. No. Alright, is it going to do the same thing? Yeah, it certainly wasn't long when I was going back. 
It is now. I wonder if going back counts as part of the... the time until the plane takes off. We shall see. We do need that pamphlet. Let's make sure I've got it. Yeah. There we go. Jeez. Um. Let's replace this one. One more time. Let's see if we can avoid the soft locking. Ah, this is the worst part is that you can't really skip past this. I think. Like, what if I... Yeah, escape doesn't really help. That's fine. At least now we know what we need to do. I think. Hopefully there's nothing else we need to, to do up front. Boom ba boom ba boom ba boom ba boom ba boom ba <laughs> and take off time. Are we good? Oh wait, I need, I need the barf bag. Hopefully our last save before getting off the plane. Okay. Cleverly, you insert the bobby pin into the safety lock. Wouldn't you guess this is against some federal regulation? Pin works. Doors unlocked. Use handle. With great difficulty, you push the large red handle until you feel something tear. Crossing your legs, you shove the handle a quarter turn to the left until it's near the word danger. What's our motivation for getting off the plane? We were just looking to get off the island, right? Whatever. Open door. You give the door a firm shove, you get six points, and the blast of the airstream tears it from its hinges. You feel yourself being sucked out, unfortunately. Oh man, I got disintegrated. Wait, use parachute? Good idea. The blessed parachute blossoms above you. 
jerking you around a lot, feeling not wholly unfamiliar to you. Yeah, we're safe. I think. I'm surprised here it wasn't like, hey, you should have waited, waited a little longer to open the parachute. Do it too soon, you just fall right into the volcano. Well, I got the knife. Oh, before I cut myself down. I guess I'm in a tree. Wait, hold on. There's probably some crap around me. Really are on a limb. The ground is far below you. And you're stuck in a parachute you bought from a vending machine. Oh, we have to try it. Splat. You got eight points. You saw away at the parachute harness with the dull cheese knife, eventually turning it into a mere thread supporting your entire body weight. Suddenly you look down and consider the consequences of falling to the jungle floor from this height. But you don't consider it for long. Oh, I'm, I'm alive? Shocking. A fall like that would be enough to break the average man's onklunk. Careful examination of yours reveals severe damage. The delicate instrument was smashed by the fall. You discard it here without learning of its dangerous cargo, nor realizing you had inadvertently kept the world's most valuable secret from falling into enemy hands. That sounds like it's supposed to happen like that. Like the thing broke my fall. I wonder if we could even get this far without this onklunk, which we got a long, long time ago, near the start of the game. Whatever. Just replace this one. Um, um, um. Let's just look around. It's like a jungle in here. Could that be because you're stranded in the middle of a jungle on a tropical island? I guess so. I still don't know why we wanted to get off the plane. Ground here is unusually spongy. Touch ground. Take, take dirt. Oh, what's this thing? Is that the onklunk? Look at ground. Jungle floor is shrouded in darkness and covered with a viscous substance that you presume passes for dirt around here. There's a stout stick lying under the tree. You feel fortunate you did not land on it. Ah, good old trusty stick. At four points. You can never tell when a nice stout stick like this one will come in handy. That's all I can see here. Save. Just because I, I can smell death on the next screen already. Oh, or right here. Oops, you just brushed a bush containing a resting swarm of killer bees. You're frozen in fear. Could the rumors of their incredible strength really be true? Let's see. Toasty. Oh. Well, thank you. Thanks, Trackball. Appreciate the sub. Almost as much as I appreciate this classic Sierra death. See, I, I know the CR deaths. I can see them coming a mile away now. Perhaps you'll enjoy your new life as the Queen Bee's personal love slave. Yeah, I'm glad you stomped on in. I 
I do wish that this screen would be unique. Because it seems like other Sierra games, this screen will have something to say based on how you died. Whatever. Save early. Save often. <laughs> yeah, we saved right here. We died right here. Alright, so bees. What if I use the barf bag on the bees? Use... I'll bet I'm just going to use the barf bag and lose two points. Oh, really? That's how it happened on the... On the... The plane matches hair rejuvenator stout stick I don't know if I want to use a stick on the bees use the hair stuff on the bees yeah that's what I was thinking they could have just called it hair gel so I didn't have to type it out look at bees can I even see them Swarm of bees are just resting on a branch of, of a bush. You remember reading something about a new strain of bees from this area. Put bees in bag. The game doesn't really seem to understand some of these simple terms I'm using. Take bees. Must be joking. No. Maybe I do use the stick on bees. You hurl the stick through the jungle as hard as you can. We, you shout. Yeah, see, the game doesn't really understand what I'm trying to do, and it's leaving off parts of the sentence. Use matches on bees. That's fine. Um, I like spray bees. I wonder if we just have to avoid. Like, maybe I'm just going the wrong way. Let me look around here real quick, see if. Looks like I'm just hiding. Um,. Oh, I didn't, I didn't even notice this was a big rock head. Look ahead. Evidently, some of these island, some of the island's rocks were part of an ancient fertility ceremony. Oh, we're gonna get some. Do I cover myself in mud, just like Arnold Schwarzenegger in Predator? Or like roll in mud. Um, look at bush before I walk through it. There's some bees resting on the bush. Cover bees. Wait, what does it say? Oh, are the bees, I thought the bees were these three little yellow dots here. But I think it may be here. <laughs> Pee on bees. Damn it. Am I losing points? A warm feeling spreads down your leg. Your suit is not as white as it was. Can I just keep peeing? Can I just say hair gel? No. Ugh. Uh, that wouldn't help. Can't use the matches. Use air sick bag on bees. Is that can I just climb? Huh. So we're 
trapped. We're trapped by the bees. A swarm of bees are just resting on a branch of a bush. Yeah, I started streaming May. May of last year. It's a slow, slow start, but start being more consistent around fall. And usually stick into about three days a week. Thankfully I've I've got Wednesdays off. So I usually just stream on all my days off. Here's sick bag. Stout stick. I, I can't use the matches. At all with that rejuvenator in my inventory. I'll blow up. And if I say something like put the hair rejuvenator in the air sick bag. It disappears. Like a. Awful quality bag of holding. You know what's weird? We used the hair rejuvenator on that padlock in the plane, even though it was the wrong thing to do. We could still do it. Hair rejuvenator. What if I just use the hair rejuvenator? Really? Use stick. Ah, oh, that is not what I call using the stick. It's gone now. Okay. You stick on dirt. Oh, that's not using the stick on the dirt. The game is pretty awful at interpreting what I want to do. Can I get over here? Like, what's this? Hmm. Seems any streamer you've been stumbling onto has been doing it for five plus years. Does you feel like a latecomer once you start streaming more regularly? Oh, you're streaming too? I'll be sure to lay down a, a follow. Let me see, I think I can do that. I still have to get used to all the crap I can do clicking on people's names. Well, I figure that that some of these older streamers eventually just they'll just drop out move on to, to something else can't be streaming forever I I put all my stuff on YouTube just so people can check it out later but not really not really doing it for for money or anything doing mostly to force myself to play through a big old list of games that I've been meaning to get around to for for a long while. Cause for, a, for a while I kept just getting st stuck playing these large like open world games and it, I wouldn't be trying trying new things. Just be dumping all my time, like 100 plus hours, into these open world games and just never moving on. So here's a little motivation to 
playthrough crap I never got around to. I gotta take the hint. I gotta take the hint here. <laughs> I may be soft locked. Sierra is not nice when it comes to soft locking. Okay, what do we got here? These hint books are pretty nice. It's set up to where I think you need 3D glasses to read them. Okay, it seems I must be missing something as I seem to have lost most of my inventory. Is there a more gentle method of leaving the parachute? If you've ever broken your onclonk, you know how painful it can be. Okay, so it says I landed correctly. Crawl. Not soft locked. I can act, just need to crawl. Let's see here. My friends from the bush party keep sweeping me off my feet. I love being romance, but not like this. Yeah, crawl under the bush. We haven't had to crawl at all. Yeah, I think a, a lot of these old hint books needed, yeah, some kind of red lens, something. Because that's how the, the hint books that come with the game look like. Except the following page doesn't include that pattern over it, so you can read it just fine. I had a really cool... Um, King's Quest book back when I was a kid. I think it's called the King's Quest Companion. Move a little closer to the bush. I don't know. And it it told the the walk through kind of like a like a story instead of it just a straight up walk through. I think I threw it away or something at some point, but I still remember it. Crawling under the bees. Yeah. All right. Carefully lower yourself to the slimy ground and attempt to make your way past the dangerous swarm of killer bees. It makes it a bit more immersive as a gaming experience. I think I remember I I mostly just used it, used it for the maps for King's Quest V, but it, it told the whole story, King's Quest 1 through 5, and I think they had a later edition up through 6, maybe 7. What do we get? We got 6 points. King's Quest V is the one you had the hint, uh, hint guide for. I only had 5 and 7 as a kid. Eventually knew 5 like the back of my hand. And then for some reason later on when I reinstalled it, it started asking for the copyright protection images. I couldn't get past that until eventually I found them on the, the internet, but it's like the mid-90s. It's hard to find that kind of stuff. Here we go. Is that a snake? A giant anaconda lies waiting for you coiled around a branch directly above the only exit from this part of the jungle. I don't know. The jungle is dense and dark. High above you, monkeys dance through the, through the treetops. Um, do I hit it with a stick? Or it does not no hit. Oh, damn it. I already know what's going to happen. 
he's just going to throw the, the stick. Because as soon as it the text parser picks up this, it just seems to ignore the rest of it. Let's see. Now, oh, it actually does, does seem to work this time. When I did use stick on bees, I, he just threw the thing. Not close enough. How close do I need to be? You just attracted the attention of the giant anaconda by walking beneath his waiting coils. Perhaps if you hold very still, he won't notice you. Now we can do it. You carefully prepare yourself for the oncoming jaws with the stick. Will it work? It better. As the snake dislocates its lower jaw in preparation for another hearty, cholesterol-laden dinner of red meat and polyester, you carefully insert your stick into the distended opening. The snake, unable to remove the stick from its jaws and embarrassed by being humiliated before the other jungle creatures, slithers away through the undergrowth to its lair in an early retirement. Poor guy. Saving after bees. Yeah, we'll just save over that one. Oh, I keep, I keep missing these giant heads. Same thing he said at the last one. Oh, what is... Jungle floor is soft and sticky here. You fondly recall your first car's seat covers. I can feel it. On feet? Like, am I spraying that? Don't you ever say feet to me again. Okay, it's gone now. I lost two points. <laughs> One nice thing about having the wait, having the stream preview up, I use that slightly slight delay to catch exactly when I'm losing points. Matches hair rejuvenator. Let's just see what happens. I think I'm going to get stuck. St soft and sticky. Oh, it's quicksand. At least this quicksand is nice and soft. <laughs> Once again, you're in over your head, Larry. In the future, you must be more observant. Might just be jumping on the rocks. Let's see. Oh, yeah, because, I mean, that's what this monkey thing does. Let's see, let's look. The ground here has a strange pattern to it. Oh, I get it. I think we just follow this. There we go. Easy peasy. Is that a fan of the voice actor they got for Larry in the later games? I think six is, six is first with the voice. I've seen other people play that, and it seems a very Larry-ish voice. Nice thing about oh, I got five points. Nice thing about voice acting. Gives me a break. Okay, I'm up here. 
I wonder how close I am to the end. I'm just going to do after bees again. Because I got a, got a feeling I just missed out on a bunch of points throughout the game. You feel a tingling sensation around your toes. Oh no, not the piranhas. Boy, this adventuring life is sure fun. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I've got I got little bone legs. What is that face? Oh, they ate my penis too. Those piranhas really work fast. For some reason your heart just isn't in the game anymore. You just have skeleton legs for the rest of the game. Not to mention several other organs. Oh. Ah. Swing on the vines. Yeah, probably. Does a Larry seem like a... A vine swinging type of guy? He really bumped up his... Action star presence from the first game. Let's just look around. A quiet brook babbles nearby. Vines hang from the jungle canopy. Which thins as it reaches the beach just visible ahead. Didn't have the guts to let you play skeleton leg, Larry. <laughs> All I need is a new pair of pants and no one's going to know. Can I just use vines? Not close enough. I don't know which one I'm I gotta be close to. Alright. Alright, game. Alright. No, not that. I think I have to do this after everyone. Son of a bitch. Next time you may want to grab that third vine. <laughs> I'm surprised Sierra didn't put in another snake or something. Be hanging down. Okay. Just using vines. You knew all, all along you were a swinger. Six points. Big kumquat energy here. After bees. It's always after bees. How many games have I played that have had bees in them? I think this is game 71 or 2. I'd say a good solid 10% of the games I've played have bees in them. <gasps> is that a dude? Larry, look. Out in the surf, that beautiful native girl is waving at you and... She's topless. Clearly one of them sirens come to... Drown me in the water. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, the Donkey Kong Countries. There's three B games. Gee, you think to yourself, I thought girls like that only existed in National Geographic. It's love at first sight, and also second sight. Can I do something? Oh. I can't do anything. You think, this is the girl I've dreamed of. The woman I've longed for. The moment I've waited for. Is this the love I've been looking for? I think this is the first time so far in this game. We've gotten a close-up like this. And we had three in the first game 
They probably just thought it takes too long to put this together. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, what do I... Heart's beating. Oh, she's in love with me too. Time to get sacrificed. Do I do anything? It's all cutscene. Well, Larry, are you just gonna stand there? You finally met the girl of your dreams. Now it's time to take some action. She's so strong, she's lifting me up. You're a limp. You've never been kissed like that before. Could it be? Is a leisure suit Larry in love? It's all by hand pixel art, probably referencing a photo. It's still not a quick or easy task. <laughs> yeah, pretty solid job back in 88. Don't know if they had the ability to scan the art directly in a digital pixel format back then. Yeah, I doubt it. Yeah, pretty solid job. Do it again? Wait, can I do anything? You recover enough to speak. Oh my gosh, you're beautiful. You're wonderful. You understand English. What's your name? Where are you from? Are you busy tonight? Of course I understand English, you silly. All of us here on None Tonight Island do. I think I'm, I think that's how you're supposed to say it, like you're getting none tonight. We live in a small village just off the beach. My name is Kalalau. It's yours. My name's Larry. Larry Laffer. Oh. Of course. It only stands to reason that such a lovely man would also have such a lovely name. Well, Kalalau's. Smile beams, melting your heart. But as to your question concerning my availability tonight, I'm afraid I have disappointing information for you. As enjoyable as I feel, sure an evening with someone like you must be, customs here on the island forbid premarital dating. On none tonight island, all women save themselves for marriage. Blow her up with the hair rejuvenator. Uh, I think that's our only option with what we've got. Or I can give her the, the half-used barf bag. That's okay, you volunteer. Why don't we just get married instead? She smiles in agreement. We're doing it. We're getting some tonight. Wouldn't that be wonderful? But unfortunately, our tribal elders have, for have forbidden any new marriages until our island has been freed from its present scourge. Please permit, to permit me to eludicate. Recently, an abhorrent man took our island from us. He claimed our sacred ancestral burial, burial grounds at the top of our volcano and refuses to allow us to visit. Soon, a, soon thereafter, our perpetually blue skies turned to fog. While none of us have, had ever seen snow or ice, suddenly a glacier appeared on the slopes of the volcano, preventing our passage to our sacred lands. A treacherous river then appeared, gouging a formidable canyon just behind our village. Then, most odious of all, he hypnotized our most beautiful women, enslaving them in his mountaintop fortress, forcing them to do his every whim, no matter how sick or repulsive. Oh yeah. What a drag, you sympathize. Holy shit.
Yes, she agrees. But now, the worst of all, because of all this, he prevented my people from com completing a megabuck deal with a large multinational hotel conglomerate who were prepared to turn this place into next year's trendiest tourist trap. We had it bagged. They were going to build a huge casino resort hotel complex right here on this lagoon, provide employment for our lazy men in the growing field of slot machine repair, and even fund a daycare center. So, even though we women would continue to work our normal 16-hour days in the tarot patches, at least we wouldn't have to carry our children on our backs. But didn't it? But did it happen? Hell no. And all because of the evil Dr. No Nookie, she cries, suddenly turning quite sensitive. Oh, if only some great hero could rid this island of his evilness. We could all live here happily ever after. You know, fool, Larry. That sounds like a cue. Oh, I'm... Wait, say I've got an idea. You tell her. What if I stop this guy? Then we could get married? Then could we get married? Well, we could get ten points. You can get that. But of course, why didn't, why didn't I think of that? Why, this is every little girl's fairy tale. A hero comes in a white suit to save my island and its people. Sigh. Let's save now. Come on, Larry. Let's go. Mm. <laughs> I guess we'll just save over that anyway. Attention, please. Gather all the villagers before the chief's hut. We must have a celebration. Wait here while I tell everyone, says the basket carrier. Oh, Larry, I so hoped you'll be able to convince my father, the chief, that we should be married, says Kalalau. Sometimes daddy can have a strange sense of humor. It sounds like he's going to kill me. Don't worry, baby. You reassure? For you, I would cross the burning sands of the Sahara. I would climb the highest peaks of the Himalayas. I would swim the shark-infested waters of the ocean. Why, I'd even learn desktop publishing software. My hero. Come on, let's go meet Daddy. All of the villages gathered for this profound occasion. You and your beloved stride across the compound to wait the arrival of the chief. No, oh, Daddy. Please come out. There's someone here I would like you to meet. <laughs> is that Ken Williams? Father, this is Larry. Larry Laffer. We're in love and wish to marry. So you wish to marry my daughter, says Chief. It is. And they changed his name. It's not Ken Williams anymore. It's Chief Kenny Wow Wow. I bet when he came by during the, the development of the game, they called him that. So you want to marry my daughter, says Chief Kenny Wow Wow. Staring straight to the back of your skull, no one is worthy of her hand unless he can prove himself a real man. Okay. Oh, I'll do anything for the woman I love, sir. No sacrifice is too great. So be it, he says softly. Then in a more commanding tone, enter the sacrificial hut and bring forth the sacred PC. Oh, PC. Villagers go, ooh. Should I save? Uh, uh. I'm scared. Okay. I'm, I'm really glad I went with the MT32 emulation. Rather than the standard beeps and boops. 
young man, sit before the mighty PC. Prove your manhood by becoming its master, and you will pass part one of this initiation to our tribe. But what is, what is it I'm supposed to do, you ask? Write a short program. Any subject or topic, any length. It's like a programmer's job interview. Mm. Yeah, the MT32 emulation makes things just seem so much better. Especially like on the Police Quest games. That's when I first started using it and I was like, what? I've been missing out all these years. No problem. Any good adventurer could do that. As long as it's in assembly language, he smiles, confident in the certainty of your failure. Villagers gasp. With your heart in your throat, you approach their sacred relic. Is it least significant bite first? You wonder. Oh, look at me go. Missing out on half the experience with ad lib. Yeah, I don't have much experience with sound fonts. I mean, I imagine it's just mapping the the MIDI to different instrument types. I'm not familiar with how to do that though. I know that sound fonts and it's available here through scum vm it's probably a file that you upload okay all ready for quality assurance you announce what did you write asks chief kitty wow wow a complete multitasking multi-user operating system that only runs on 80 80 cpus you respond excellent and do you have a name for this product? Asks Chief Kiniwawa. Why? Unix. Of course. Programming humor. Perfect, says Chief Kiniwawa. I'll tighten up your code later. Now follow me, and I'll lead you to the secret path. The way known only to card-carrying villagers. The path that will lead you to the sacred burial grounds of our ancestors. The one and only way to the top of none tonight volcano. Rid this island of the evil Dr. No Nookie, and Kalalau will be your wife. Villagers go, ah. Please walk this way. Um, David, am I walking? Yeah, this is all, all just cut scene. The old boy's got some sense of balance. Ah, here we are, son. This is the secret of my people, the way to our sacred vault volcano, right across this chasm. Is that glacier? Does this say something? That's an A. Or maybe it's not. Maybe I'm just seeing stuff. Some secret. Any fool could see that. They changed his name. They forgot what they called him. Now it's Ken Wow Wow. Kinawawa continues. Of course, any fool could see that. What's important is, you must cross this chasm, climb the recent icy glacier, walk the treacherous paths, and penetrate the impenetrable fortress of the equal, evil Dr. No Nookie. By the way, did I mention that my daughter's a virgin? 
Did we did we just get uh, 25 points for hearing that the daughter's a virgin? Okay. Okay, catch you later. I must go lead the village's afternoon aerobics class. We are really close. Really close to the end here. Toasty. Am I am I moving? Not moving yet. I am really hoping I have everything I need to move forward. Cause if I'm soft locked and I have to go back through all that again. Ugh. Alright, I can move now. Um, um, um. Is this a platform? Let's just look around. A terribly deep chasm extends around the tongue of the rock upon which you're standing. If you didn't know better, you'd think a guy could get hurt around here. In the distance, you see the island, the island's volcano, ringed with a glacier. Not, not at the top, as you'd expect, but near the bottom of some vertical cliffs. Okay. I have this. This is all I have. Match. What happened to all my money, by the way? I used to have a million dollars. That's gone now. I've got matches, hair rejuvenator. If you use the matches while the hair rejuvenator is in your inventory, you blow up. So we can use either the hair rejuvenator or the air sick bag. God, let's... Anything else? Look at the glacier. Nothing special. Look at the volcano. Is this... A Classic Sierra. Okay. What's this purple crap over here? Or do I... Do I just go back? Do I, I don't climb the tree, do I? Oh. I thought... I thought this was the ground and this was like a, in, a ledge. It's a chasm. As described. Multiple times. Be strong, Larry. There's no way you can make it across that chasm standing way back here. <laughs> oh, there's... Sierra people laughing. There's no way you can make it standing way back here. I think they're trying to get the player to actually keep moving forward until they fall off the cliff. Yeah. Let's just head back. What are we doing? Okay, well I can go back. Chief's hut is grand, but only in comparison to the other huts. In the background you can hear strains of old Olivia Newton-John tapes. Get tapes. Don't you ever say tapes to me again. I, it's such a weird, weird thing. I hope it's a little better in Larry 3. Um, what am I doing here? Village. Do I... Look, campfire made a lot of ashes. Do I <clears throat> put the ashes in the bag? Take ashes. I just, I just scoop them up. You bend over the fire pit and scoop up huge handfuls of ashes, completely filling all your pockets with them. 
perfect. Do we combine the ashes with the hair rejuvenator to make a bomb? Don't you ever say combine to me again. Uh, I just hate typing out. Uh. Okay, it's gone now. Got it. Lost score. Okay. Get him. Okay, so that's six points. We've got this hole down here. Look in hole. Use width. Yeah, I'll, I'll give that a try. Look in a hole. I can't do that now. Oh, God. Why didn't they just call it hair gel or something? You throw the ashes into the wind and watch them disappear forever. Hate you, Sierra. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. That's why we save often, just like Al Lowe says. I'm looking at this, though. This stands out too much for it not to be... The huts are filled with the joy of aerobics. Don't disturb them. Do I like a reach in hole? The hell you say? <laughs> Put hand in hole. The hell you say? Not yours to drop. See if I can actually go in the hut. It would be better if you stayed out. Well, we got ashes. Here's this dude. Uh, I need your axe. Which doctor's hut? A native man chops wood near his hut. Talk to man. The, oh, come on, man. Wait, no. There we go. Let's grunt. Oh. Take axe? It's his axe. Take wood? It's his wood. Boy, he try to take everything that's not nailed down. There's got to be something, something going on on this screen, or like looking window. Not the wind door. I'll just knock. No, not cock. <laughs> Fitting game for it though. There's got to be something here. This dude's chopping away. What's he chopping on? Chopping wood. Uh, hmm. He doesn't want my hair rejuvenator. Hug man. Look at axe. 
Look at wood. It's his wood. Maybe I just leave. I guess I can go all the way back here. I think I need some way to get, get across that chasm. Look at rocks. Can I get up here? Open door. Hmm. Look at Hut. Witch Doctor. I need the Witch Doctor to perform some kind of penis enhancing spell on me, I'm sure. Sierra wouldn't just put this guy here for nothing. Ask man for X. The hell you say? Let's go around. Get in that door. All the doors are closed. If I... Maybe had some something of wood. Maybe I give that to the guy and it'll cut it for me. And then I can use that to get across the chasm. Look at wood. Look at hut. Nothing except Olivia Newton John. Look at tree. A dead tree is conveniently located just out of your reach on the other side of the chasm. Oh, one of its branches hangs out over the chasm. Well, we don't have anything, do we? Let's... I don't think I can grab the branch. You can't reach it from here, but it looks sturdy. I wonder if I blow up the tree. Put ashes in bag. No. Throw hair rejuvenator at the tree. No. Light tree on fire. This one's just going to probably end up using the matches. Yeah, blow up. But I bet that tree moved. Okay, so I either need to move the tree down or get some kind of rope or something. I wonder if I was supposed to take one of those vines. So. It was 
is way back here. In the distance, you hear the island's volcano, or see the island's volcano ringed by a glacier. Yeah, we already read that part, but here is a beautiful tropical beach. Here, a beautiful tropical beach wraps its glorious splendor around a crystalline lagoon. What a wonderful place to vacation. You wonder why it isn't covered with lots of cheap motels. I wonder if I can take Vine. Oh, I'm not close enough. Do you think he's going to actually take the Vine or swing back across and we'll get piranha We got it. Okay. I figured out something on my own. This vine saved your life back there at the river. But why do you want it hanging around you? Because... We're going to go swinging across the chasm. And that was four points to get the vine. Oh, please, please don't have me attach something to the vine. Use vine on tree. Weak, weak Larry. Do I just have to be a little closer? <laughs> Too close. Too close. Ah. Or is it you on the branch? God, because here's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I have to... I think I've got to... Like that. You have to be almost falling off that ledge. You made it. You set forth on your mission to explore the unknown mountain before you, knowing full well that you'll never be able to return this way again. What lies before you? Will you, will you be able to climb the icy glacier? Will you find doc, the evil doctor's mountaintop fortress? Will you destroy the evil doctor Nonuki? Will you return to your beloved Kalalua? Will you find love? Will you find happiness? Will you stop asking all these questions and get on with the game? Um, I think I'm at the volcano, right? Oh, uh -huh. 433 out of 500 points. So we're going to get get pretty close to 500. Well, look at plant. Looks kind of weird. It's a member of the fern family and one of the first true trees. Its species is over 300 million years old. Since most of the jokes in this game from since most of the jokes in this game come from the same era, seems appropriate. Can I take it? What is this? Look at rock. Oh, it's just, it's another one of those rock faces. Beautiful, beautiful graphics. This ice is slippery. Look out. Ow. You broke your ass bone. Try again. Yeah. Hold on one second here. There we go. Okay, so what do I have? Matches, hair rejuvenator, airsick bag, ashes, ice ice everywhere, and not a drop to drink. Isn't it, isn't it amazing? 
with that hot tropical sun overhead and the temperature somewhere in the 90s, this glacier remains frozen solid. Somewhere off in the far distance, you think you hear a low-pitched humming noise, like a large electric motor. How silly. There's no electricity on an uncivilized, isolated tropical island like this. The ice is absolutely impenetrable. There's no way to crack, move, or break it. I keep... I'm looking at this, and it seems like I've got to make a bomb or something. Use ashes on bag. I... That's ten points. Did it use the bag? This is reading like it only used the ashes. The broiling tropical sun strikes the black ashes he took from the village campfire and quickly melts the snow, revealing refri refrigeration coils. You immediately realize the meaning. Dr. No Nookie has created a glacier on the side of a volcano in the middle of the tropics to prevent the island natives from disturbing his evil doings. What power, what force, what an asshole. Doesn't make sense, the ashes acted as tender. Yeah, I... I wonder if it's, it's supposed to be like hot coals. Whatever, I'll take it. You keep this up, you're going to be a hero yet, Larry. Now all you have to do is scale the sheer vertical basaltic cliffs of the volcano, reach its crater, and attempt to discover an entrance to the evil Dr. No Nookie's impenetrable fortress so you can learn what lies inside. If my, hold on, is my bag gone? It's still here. Saving. Hold on, look. Oh, look at these clouds with, with big titties. A uh, sheer cliffs drop off on both sides. For a moment, you consider walking very near the edge, just to see if you can fall off. Perhaps you won't. Perhaps you can fly. Perhaps the love of the beautiful Kalalau has given you meaning, or has given you amazing magical powers that are only activated here on this enchanted island. It's probably going to give unique text if I try. Perhaps Kalala Kalalao's love only seemed to give you wings. That's fine. You look through the hole in the rock and see just a cloud. Why? Did you think you see something? Mm-hmm. There we go. You click, I can do the diagonal. Mm-hmm. Well, you've reached the summit of Nun Tonight Volcano. An elevator incongruously awaits you. Steam rises from a volcano crevice. The ground feels highly unstable. Finally, you remember Los Angeles. Hold on. I'm catching a whiff of something. I think I'm smelling Sierra. Put steam in bag. Come on, get steam. dress in there. <laughs> you rapidly explore the interior of a volcanic crevice before discovering the pool of molten lava at its bottom. Ah, it just feels like we'd be using something there. Whatever. Elevator 
void is controlled from within. Elevator awaits you. Steam rises. Put bag in crevice. Come on. This area is not conducive to bombing. <laughs> okay, we're on to it. Let's see if we can see if we can blast open this door here. Um oh wait. Or it may be that we just have to use it after using the elevator. <laughs> Bomb elevator. The hell you say? <laughs> Open door. Knock on door. Yeah, here's the part where it's like, well, you didn't get the, didn't get the remote control from the start of the game. What's this circle of stuff over here? As best you can tell from this angle, the crevice in several hundred feet below you. Better save your game before walking closer. Okay, the elevator's controlled from within. There's no way you can open it. I wonder if we just have to hide, if it's one of these Sierra things. Or, like, wait. No. This is all I've got. area is not conducive to bombing. I wonder if somewhere on this screen is conducive to bombing. Yeah. All right. If I just go back, can I even go back? fall if I go down there. Yeah, if it can only be controlled from within, my thoughts would be either to drop the to put the the hair rejuvenator somewhere and then toss in a match after. And maybe that's what I gotta do. I just don't know how to type it in. Hmm. 
Not conducive to bombing. Try again somewhere else. Put bag in crevice. No, better not. Can I leave this screen at all? Or are we stuck here? I think we're stuck here. I'm just going to take a hint to, to move us forward. Because I... If it's something I've got to type in perfectly, I'm not figuring it out. I'm thinking we either have to wait and hide and someone else will open the door and we'll go in after them. Or we got to figure out some way to bomb that thing. Okay. See, I'm at the top of the crater near the elevator. Can't seem to get anything done. I just want to ease ease on down the old Otis. What? I just want to ease on down the old Otis. Oh, it must have been like a brand of elevator. You can't. It's locked from inside. You've got to be a little explosive here. Build a bomb, but don't bomb the elevator door. Drop your bomb into the large crevice at the center rear of the scene. How do I build it? Every time I light the hair rejuvenator, it blows up in my face. Don't light it. You need a fuse. You missed something. Oh, you missed something on the airplane. Wouldn't it make you sick? What do we do? Like, like turn bag into fuse? Like bag with match. You strike a match and watch the air sick bag go up in flames. We. Okay. So what? Put bag in here. How do I combine these? Hold on, let me look at the the hint just a, a smidge more. My bomb keeps falling into the crevice. What? I have I have three items that should make an excellent explosive device. I tried to build it and the game responds not here. What? Let's see if we put the put the air sick bag in the rejuvenator in the rejuvenator. Didn't I say that? Weird. God damn it. Okay. I need to find out exactly what to say because the, the game is not uh, it's what's so difficult in some of these text parser games you know exactly what you want to do and the like, I want to use the air sick bag as a fuse for the hair rejuvenator I light that fuse toss it in the crevice and the game's like kiss my ass I don't know what you're talking about. The hint book says, if you're having trouble getting the game to accept your instructions, be sure to use the where applicable. Which is so weird because that's not something that usually we accept as being necessary in these text parser games. Uh, need 
Tour. No need to use it here. Get your reading shows. Top the volcano, you'll notice an elevator. Walk as close to the crevice as you can. Type put air sick bag in bottle. Uh, I think you. You're probably right. It it just seems to be very specific here. Put air sick bag in bottle. Like here, it it seems like the game is trying to combine these things. I'm wondering where exactly I need to stand. Is it here? We're doing it. You just had to... It was accepting my commands. It, it just had to be a very specific area. Okay. Got five points. You insert the airsick bag into the neck of the bottle of the hair rejuvenator. We get to save. We did it. Um, light bomb. You are now holding. Oh, we get it. Another five points. You're now holding a bottle full of highly flammable liquid with a burning wick make it made from an air sick bag a semi used air sick bag in game come on yes really <laughs> it's not mine to drop Thanks, game. No one ever accused you of having a long fuse, Larry. <laughs> End game, indeed. <laughs> um. Match on bomb. Okay. What the hell do I need to do? Type in um throw the bomb doesn't belong to me, so I can't throw it. Gotta hold on to it until I get things perfect. Drop it. Yeah, I can't drop it. It's not mine. It's not mine to drop. I wonder if I... Hold on. I think I... What if I do drop the bomb in the crevice like the... Damn it. Alright, I'm looking up hints. This is stupid. I'm not even gonna keep trying with this. Um... Drop, drop the bottle. Oh, do I have to refer to it as the bottle? So stupid. <laughs> All right. Thank you. He tossed the bottle of hair rejuvenator into the deep crevice. It's like I'm holding this bomb. It's like oh, it's not not mine to drop. Finally reaches bottom. Breaks harmless, harmlessly on the jagged rocks. Making quite a mess, but accomplishing nothing. Because I didn't line it? You just threw away the only hope you had of saving this island from the evil doctor. Thanks, game. We're getting there. We're getting there. What happened? Did I just not wait? A light bomb. I think I have to wait a little bit. We're gonna 
We gonna count to five? I think five's too long. Let's count to three. One, two, three. There's a fast three. You dispatch your Larry Toff cocktail on its merry mission with a hearty grunt. Yeah, we had to wait. You feel a deep rumbling as your homemade bomb explodes, weakening an old lava tube deep within the earth. This could be extremely dangerous. The force of the explosion has also caused the elevator door to open. Bombed. We're getting there. Is it taking us down? As you start to push the closed door button, you notice there is no closed door button inside this elevator. Say there's no buttons at all inside the elevator. In fact, there's not even a floor. Once again, Larry, you're getting the shaft. As you plummet through the darkness of the elevator shaft, the evil Dr. No Nookie is enjoying another blissful evening at home, singing jazz standards with his backup singers, the Hinchettes. It is personal piano bar. There's old Polly Walnuts from The Sopranos. Nothing more than peelings. Is that someone staring at a banana? What are we doing here? Um, I, I'm going to say right here. No nook. Where am I? Am I anywhere? Suddenly you explode from the elevator shaft onto the scene. Weird. Staggering to your feet, you inadvertently slap a fast low five on that hand extending from the wall. Oh, you... You've discovered the secret activator for the fortress's Peacemaker Self-Defense Control Panel. Struggling to regain your balance, you fall onto the auto-fire button. Stop, screams Dr. No Nookie. It's too late. Do I do anything? It's all automatic. A laser beam strikes the large Italian marble column near the grand piano. Four ninety three score, you did it. You got thirty points there. You did it, Larry. You destroyed the evil Doctor No Nucky. We're getting Nucky now. Nucky acquired. Oh. Oh, do I get to move? Remembering that Dr. No Nookie kidnapped and hypnotized the island's innocent native women, you realize you must break his spell before they can return to the village. Snap out of it, girls. He's gone forever. Never again will you be forced to do his evil deeds. You're free to return to your native selves. On the count of three, you'll awaken refreshed, and able to remember everything that's happened to you. One, two, three. You shout, snapping your fingers. Freed at last from the hypnotic trance of the evil doctor, the women liberate themselves, resuming their native ways by showing their titties. Oh, these are all the ladies in the game who, who tried to seduce us and... If we followed them, we would get cut in half with a laser. Oh, God, yes. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, yeah. That's what I've been playing for eight hours for. Huzzah! Huzzah. It's Larry. Larry Laffer, our hero. Hmm. You interrupt their celebration with, It's nice of you to say so, but we must leave here immediately. I had to force the elevator door by dropping a bomb into the volcano. 
and I'm afraid it may erupt at any moment. Where's the radio telephone? It's right behind you. Oh, I knew that. You grab the telephone and press the big talk button. Mayday, mayday. This is the big laugher calling. Can I get a copy off and any good buddy? You often slip back into the 70s without even trying. Catching yourself, you continue. I'm inside Nun Tonight Island's volcano in a fortress hollowed out of solid rock and filled with beautiful oversexed women recently stripped to the waist. I've just killed a maniacal, power-hungry, money-groping scientist who was trying to grab my onklonk a few minutes ago. I dropped a homemade bomb into a crevice that will cause the volcano to erupt. Do you realize how stupid you sound? I do. Is anybody listening? Over. Hiss. Crackle. Pop. Hiss. Crackle. Pop. You almost receive a breakfast cereal commercial. <laughs> like Rice Krispies. Roger, big laugher. We copy. What kind of help do you need, over? Hey, who is this? Are you nearby? Can you come immediately? Over. This is Dwayne Barker of Software Illustrated Magazine. We're right below you on the beach at Nundanai Island, shooting our an annual swimsuit issue. We'll be glad to fly up in our helicopter to rescue you. Is there any way you could create some sort of signal to let me know where you are? Over. You glance at the large computer panel to your right. How about if I have some palm trees amid a cloud of fog to surround the island, then turn off the island's main waterfall and open a gigantic hangar door in the side of the volcano? Over. Yeah, I guess that ought to do it, he replies. See you in two minutes, over and out. Over and out, good buddy. Oh, look at me, I'm big hero. Usually the, the ranks cycle. Every time your score changes. But here, this is brand new. Big hero. You have a little trouble deciphering the control panel for the island's camouflage system. Anybody know how to work this fog machine, you ask? Well, what the hell? Pushing everything at least once couldn't hurt. Oh, great hero of our island, says one of the women. Come over here. Allow us to give you a proper triumphant return to our people. Uh, yes. 1988 Jiggle Physics. Say, aren't you coming with us? You ask the pianist. Of course not. I don't really have a part here. I'm just the piano player. But allow me to introduce myself. My name's Patty. She says, Polyester Patty, the internationally renowned recording artist and queen of the women's single scene. You want to watch me in Leisure Suit Larry 3? <laughs> okay. Okay, Sierra. You ignore this blatant plug. Come on, girls. To the chopper and my destiny. Here we go. Hey, watch out. Clumsy, you dropped him. Meanwhile, outside, I hope the helicopter doesn't blow up. Here we go. And this was where I would always die. Thanks a lot for dropping me down the stairs, you cried to the native women. Hurry up and get in the helicopter. No thanks, they yell back down the stairs. We use the back door and take our chances with the glacier. Come on, big laugher. Climb aboard. I'm be mad if this thing kills me. Sorry, I had a little trouble with that fog machine, you tell him. See, aren't you that guy that won the big lottery prize? Asks the pilot. Yep, that's me. You reply proudly. My name's Larry. Larry Laffer. Well, Larry, 
Got a little surprise for you. I just heard on the radio. It just went bankrupt. Kaput. Busted. I hope you saved some of that money. Mm. So we won the lottery. The start of the game. I think it was a million bucks either every month or every year. And we had a million bucks in our pocket. We spent some of it. I forget where we lost it. Maybe it was when we went out of the plane. Anyway, we're poor now. Doesn't matter, you assert. I have the love of, of a beautiful woman. And we can live here on this wonderful island for the rest of our lives. Why do I need money? I'll give up my leisure suit for a muumuu. All right. Hey, thanks for the lift, guys. Want to stick around for my wedding? Sure, why not? We'll grab the camcorder and be right there. Watch out for that blade. Oh, do I have to save? We'll just say, like, end. Surprised that I didn't get my head taken off by the blade. Hi Larry, what took you so long? I ran into a little trouble with an artificial glacier. Mm. I did it, Kalalao. I really did it. Dr. No Nookie is no more. His evil spell is broken. The glacier is melting away, and your women are, are again free. Once again, peace reigns over this beautiful island. Let's find your father and get married immediately. Okay. I'll go get daddy. You notify the village. Have everyone assemble before the witch doctor's hut. Oh, Larry, I'm so excited. Just think. I'll be Mrs. Larry. Mrs. Larry Laffer. Friends, natives... Countrymen, lend me your ears. You're off to an original start. People of none tonight. The evil Dr. No Nookie is gone forever. Your women have been freed and are returning here now. You're again free to travel wherever you wish. Since I have met all the conditions of Chief Kinney Wow Wow, Kalalao and I will be married. Please assemble for the wedding. You hear the muffled sounds of cheers. Later that day, the entire village has turned out for the wedding of their princess, Kalalao, to the white-suited stranger. The drummer begins his special stylized rendition of the theme from Wagner's Lundgren. The witch doctor is waiting. You move into position to await the entrance to your, of your betrothed. Oh, oh. Okay. In comes your beloved Kalalao on the arm of his arm of her father, Ken Williams. Who gives this woman to marry this man? That'd be me, says Chief Kenny Wawa. Very well. Turning to you, the witch doctor asks, And do you have a ring? You know, there was a ring in the land of the lounge of lizards, you tell him, but I never thought to bring it along here. Never mind, let's begin. Following the traditions of our peoples, you must now spin in a circle till you're dizzy and throw up. Are they going to show the barf? Now smash this wedding cake into your beloved's face. Mm. 
And finally, moonwalk across this dirt compound. Is this really necessary? You may kiss the bride. Villagers go, ah. Now, Larry, we'd like to welcome you to our family. Look at it this way. You now have a village full of in-laws. Larry, my son, at this time I would like to give you a special wedding present in my hut. Please walk this way. You think, if I walked that way, I'd be a maitre d'. Oh. Hair? Don't all witch doctor huts look alike? Just a moment, Larry, while I ready this special preparation. Am I getting big hair? The hell was that? Ew. Alright, son. Come on over here. Turned into a rabbit? And an ass. Jeez, you exclaim. That's some powerful stuff. Here. Take a look in this mirror. Tell me what you think. Oh, I'm beautiful. You did it. You really did it. This is great. I look like a young man again. I'm stranded in paradise. Broke but happy. And the most beautiful woman I've ever seen is madly in love with me. My dreams have all come true. Was it all just a dream? Oh, wow, look at us go. Mm-hmm. As we leave our hero, cavorting in the sand with his new love, we ask ourselves the burning question. Is women's lib really dead? Is there still a feminist movement? Is there a market for polyester paddy in pursuit of the pulsating pectorals? Or will Al Lowe have to write yet another of these silly symphonies? It's always a, a confusing time at the end of these adventure games, how the game's going to handle the ending. I don't know if, should I hit enter now? If I just hit, like, is, is that the end? Are, are we done? Do I, do I have to watch them have sex here for a couple minutes? Is this the end? Because the, the credits do play at the start of the game. I think... I think we're... I think we're done. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're done.
Hold on one second. Let me... <laughs> Let me just look up someone else's playthrough and see if this is where it ended. I'm pretty sure this is it. And it just ends on this weird, creepy smile on Larry. But if so, then we're good. I mean, this is a pretty, pretty solid game. Yeah, it looks like that's, that's it. It just ends here. <laughs> that's fine. A yeah, pretty solid game. It just it started to introduce a lot more of the Sierra Adventure game stink with the second game. The first game I didn't really need any hints to get through the game. Here I I referred back to the handbook a couple times to help, help us move forward, but I have no shame in that. So, let's see, that wraps up yet another game. What is that, is game 71 or 72? Scooting on forward. Scooting on forward. And what is next? I think it's finally time for Goldeneye this weekend. Um, I'm not 100% sure which difficulty I'm going to go with, if it is going to be double O agent or secret agent, but it won't just be agent, because that's going between easy, normal, and hard modes. We'll see. We'll see. I still have to test it out. And... Not looking forward to getting used to the Nintendo 64 controller. Again, since the last time I played Pilot Wings, but anyway, that wraps it up for me today. Thank you all for hanging with me. Thanks for the, the subbing. And I will see you all this weekend. All right. See ya. Bye.